Hello everyone, uh, I'm here with the last video of week 4, I excel x1 evaluate an exponential function. Uh, the unique code of the assignment is D6H. If you search this code, you will be able to find this assignment. So this one is one of the easiest assignments, even though it may look complicated, it says use the following function rule to find f of 2. So before I, exp I explain what to do with this sort of a question, which is pretty simple, totally like one of the easiest assignments that you'll ever have. But I still want to show you the reasoning behind it because I just don't want you to start typing and then getting the answers, not knowing why you're doing what you're doing. So first of, when you see this expression, it tells you that you are dealing with a function, not an equation, not a polynomial, it, it, it has a specific meaning. If you have f and then parentheses and then either a variable or a number in the parentheses, uh, then that means you are dealing with a function. I'll explain, we, we will learn what function means later in the year, but just so you know, that means we deal with functions, with this expression. Okay, and next thing, this expression tells you to locate function f okay that's step one find function f in the question step two plug in two because that's what I have in the parentheses plug in two for what for the variable Sorry if I, for my crappy handwriting, I guarantee you this is not my handwriting because I'm holding my uh, tablet kind of perpendicular to the desk and then it's almost, I, I don't have any angle to write on. So, because I want to open the webcam too so that you can see me. Uh, okay, now I'll go to function f, which is the first line. So let's just locate it. It's right here. This is function f of x. That means the function, you can consider that function as a machine, and then the variable is what we put inside that machine, and then we're putting x into that machine, into that function machine. So its value equals to 3 times 11 to the power of what I put inside that machine plus 11. So the only thing that is going to change in here is what I put in the machine which is x, because it can change. When you have a variable, it could be anything. It could be 5, 0, 11, 1 over 3, uh, negative 1 million. It, it becomes whatever you want to plug it in. Right now, I want to plug in 2 because it says find the value of f of 2. So I go to my function, and then I restart. I start writing this again. So f of x right that's what I need to write that's the first line but now my x is going to become that number because that's what I need to find it's it's here it says find f of 2 so instead of f of x I'm finding f of 2 which means wherever I see that x I need to plug in 2 so let's continue writing this function three times I have parentheses 11 and then in the power, I have an x, but now there's no x anymore. It's just 2. It became 2. Plus 11. I only had 1x, which I plugged in the 2 for. Now, once I figure this value out, I have my answer. So, the order of operation is parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So, I first look at the parentheses and then see if there's anything that I can simplify in there. So, between the parentheses, the only thing that I have is 11. I cannot add anything, subtract anything, and then I move on to the exponent. Is there any exponent? That's what I check. Right here, I see an exponent. I need to get rid of that one. So, 11 squared, once I have its value, which is 121, you can just grab a calculator, type it in, and then see what it is. And then I bring down everything else. The first line, right in front of this 11 squared, 
had a multiplication, right? Because that's my next operation. I need to see if I have any multiplication, which I do. That multiplication is right in here, times three. That's going to be my next step. And then I will do plus 11 in the end because I don't have anything else. So what happens if I multiply 3 times 121? You can grab your calculator or if you can just use it. So when I multiply 3 times 121, it's going to be 363. Then I will bring down the rest as always. And there's only one thing that I, that I can do. I just will add these together. 363 plus 11 is going to give you 374. That would be my answer for this question. But if you don't want to go through the, the whole process, but I'm telling you that you should know this. You should really know this. Uh, but then as a shortcut, if you want to use calculators, go ahead and do it. I will show you that shortcut. But I'm telling you once again, at the end of the year, I don't want you to tell me that I didn't teach you how to do this. This is how you plug it in, using a paper and a pen or a pencil. But since we are doing online learning, I, I, I have no control over what you do, and I know you will figure it out eventually. Here's the shortcut. But telling you that if you don't know how to do this, chances of you passing my class is like this big. So. I would definitely do my best to do it step by step on a piece of paper. And then to check your work, it's always great to check your work. Just get on the calculator and type it in and see if you get, the, get your answer right or wrong before you submit your answer. That's always an option. But I don't want you to just get on a calculator and start typing everything in just because you can. Okay, now I will show you how you can see if this work is correct or not. Maybe I made an error somewhere along the line. Okay, you'll need to type the answer that I ended up with, 374. Could be wrong. I just, I didn't use a calculator. So I would type Desmos graphing calculator, and then the first option that you see is what you need to get on. And then you can just mimic what you see in here, and then use 2 instead of X. So I will type this whole thing, but instead of X, I'm going to type 2, okay? 3, but I should put every single thing that I've seen in there. So it is 3 times, I'm using the keyboard that shows up in the bottom on my tablet, times 11, I'm not going to do this, because there is a set of parentheses in there. So I will delete this, I'm going to put the parentheses in here, 11, and then close it, let me see. Okay, and then if you see this A squared button in there, that's going to square that 11. Okay, I just want to get back and see if I did it right. Yes, I did it right because X will become 2. And then I will do plus 11. By the way, if you want to have another number instead of that 2, you can use these arrows, by the way. You can use these arrows right under the button function to move in the expression that you just typed in. You can remove that to type another number. Okay, that's totally up to you. Or, here's another thing, if you just hit this A to the power of B, A to the power of B right next to, next to A squared, you can type any power that you would like in there. So my power is squared. And then I will do plus 11, right? Here's a common mistake that about half of you is going to make at one point. Uh, if you do it, you got to pay attention to where you're typing what you're typing. You don't want to put this plus right next to that 2. Okay, if you have a plus in the power, that's going to change your answer. Make sure it's not at right next to 2. And then I'll add a 11. Was that what it was? Let me see. Yes. So 374, that was what I ended up with. So I can now type my answer in and then move on to my life. Let's skip a level and from here I'm going to use, this is pretty simple, I don't need to use the calculator, it is 9 to the power of x, right? But there's no x anymore, my x becomes 1. 9 to the power of 1 means multiply the 9 by itself for once, that's the answer, 9. Okay, moving on, 
I'm not gonna do this example because it's already over 90, but it's not even, I keep saying I'm not gonna do this, but then it just becomes a very easy question. All you have to do is uh, seven times five, do the parentheses first. This right here is 35 to the power of x, right? This would be the answer and that's my x. So x becomes two, my answer is going to be 35 squared. You would type this on Desmos and see what it is and then put that answer in the box. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in another video.